All right. Now what I have are two interesting substances. These are both metals. The first one is sodium metal. Oh, well, that says potassium. The first one is sodium metal. And this is a metal, although it doesn't really look too much like one. It's kind of dull and gray. And but these are very soft. And so what I can do is actually cut this like butter. It'll just cut like that. I've cut right into it with this spatula. Now, these are interesting metals as well because they're very reactive. And this is a good demonstration of why firemen want to know what's in my laboratory before they come running in with their hoses. <laughs> because if you want to put out a sodium fire with water, that would be the wrong thing to do. I'm just going to drop this piece of so It won't make a noise. Don't worry. <laughs> it I'm just going to drop this into water. So it's hissing and spitting and... Okay, I think we need a bigger piece. <laughs> so again, we'll take the oil off it so the water can react with it. And we'll drop it in. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, would you believe that I don't think of sodium as being very reactive? But I do think of potassium as being reactive. Potassium is the next element down in the periodic table, below sodium. So uh, take a piece out. That's a little big, that one. <laughs> I'll take a piece about the same size as the piece of sodium. You can see it's a nice shiny metal. And we'll stab that and drop it into the water. Now again, if I've got potassium in my lab, Spraying water on a fire is the wrong thing to do. Instant flame. Now, what's ha I think we ought to do that again. Eh? So what's happened there? <coughs> Bigger piece? Yeah. You want to see me die, don't you? What, what's happened is that the reaction generates hydrogen and then the hydrogen explodes into flame. Usually it pops. There we go. So that's why you don't spray water on sodium or potassium. <laughs> 